What's going on, y'all? This is your Days of Our Live review for October 29, 2015. And for the most part, it was all right. You're getting there, Days. You're getting there. You'll get better if y'all arrest the real killer. But I digress. <clears throat> So we get out where we left out yesterday with Chad waking up finally. He's up, even though he's agitated and making a lot of noise and causing a lot of ruckus. He's finally up, which is a good thing. Now all we need for him to do is get his goddamn memory back, but we can finally get being arrested. And Justin and Salem, no good PDM, can leave him alone finally. But he's finally up, thank God, Jesus. But damn, see, like, time Chad wake up, like, they had a goddamn alert on his ass. Like, text me when Chad wake up or call me. Like, time he opened his eyes, like, goddamn, Salem PD knew about it. Hope was up there trying to eat her little big ass yogurt she didn't get to eat. Like, goddamn, what y'all had him on the alert for some shit? Like, it's amazing how Chad woke up and everybody fucking knew about it. And then... <coughs> Here comes Justin with his ass. It's normal acting silly ass. Like I said, I done popped and went to his goddamn little head. He is working on my goddamn nerves. So, y'all, we get to Ben and Ben up there telling Abigail all kind of fairy tales and lies and hopes and dreams and everything in between. Up there crying on that girl voicemail talking about he's sorry and he ain't mean to grab him. To grab her like that. Okay, Ben, so why the fuck did you do it then? Why did you grab her? Did your anger get the best of you again? Or was it your temper this time? Abuse is abuse, motherfucker. You shouldn't have put your hands on her like you did. And and you shouldn't have did what the fuck you did. It, you shouldn't have abused that woman like that. What the fuck wrong wrong with you? Oh, I know what the fuck wrong with you. Yeah, your daddy's son. That's what the fuck wrong with you. So I'm not surprised you are a woman beater too, just like your damn daddy. Ain't no changing you now. You, Marlena Mike and, um, might be able to help get the crazy out of you. Or the, or the crazy parts out of you that might make you into a better man. I doubt it. Maybe jail can make you turn you into something different. I doubt it. But yeah, you a woman beater. And now you crown this woman boy so that you didn't drag this woman. Or you didn't drag that. You didn't, how, how you didn't did that woman arm like that. Bitch, you couldn't say nothing to me if I was Abigail. But we know she's stupid and in love. So called in love with being. She gonna end up forgiving. So, good old Salem PD finally makes it to um, the hospital and decides they want to arrest Chad. For the most part, Daniel tried to stop them in their tracks. He tried. And wasn't nothing he can really do because he probably wouldn't end up getting arrested himself. So, he tried his damn hard. I congratulate you on that, um, Daniel, for trying to stop Justin's psychotic ass. The um crazy ass to trying to arrest somebody. He trying to get that win at you. Just you just trying hard, ain't you? And for the most part, Chad woke up. Of course, he ain't gonna remember a motherfucking thing. And somebody to bam your head into the goddamn wall or whatever the, the bed, bed um the bed. The bed post or whatever the fuck that was. Bam, your head in it like he was doing that man here. You, Justin, your ass wouldn't remember nothing neither. And you trying to say this man trying to play amnesia and playing dumb. Thank God then you, uh, um, thank God then you did enough to distract them for a, say a few minutes, couple of minutes. And then Justin insists on the wrestling chat, insists on the wrestling. Like, God damn, Justin. The man just woke up from a serious injury. He is brain damaged. He is um locked memory loss. Damn, can you at least have a little sympathy for the goddamn man and let him stay in the hospital? At least a, a day or 24 hours? God damn, Justin, you a cruel, you a cruel bitch. For you to want to... That man wake up this few minutes and now you trying to arrest him. Justin, you want cruel ass bitch. That was fucked up. And, and for them to allow you to do it, that's even more fucked up. Cause how the fuck that man on this guy to come and all of a sudden y'all want to arrest him? 
And don't say, cause you got caught, and don't say y'all want to take him off the street. That is a motherfucking lie. That man, well, what kind of harm that man gonna do in the goddamn hospital? Chain to the hospital, I mean, handcuffed to the hospital bed. Just that that's you trying to run with your little DA poppin' that you got for a couple of hours, and you letting that shit go to your goddamn head. You gonna let that man stay in the hospital for at least 24 hours or 48 hours. Nah, you insisted on arresting him. Guess what, motherfucker? When it comes to Kush, come to show when that case get called, I guarantee you won't win it. So you keep on thinking you feel the arrest chat the man and in the prison, you're laughing at yourself and you're a joke. So, y'all, Marlena is pissy at John again. What else new with John and Marlena? He get ready to go to try to find his natural birth family. Or his family, or uh, any if he got any, and Marlena pissy and not having it. She won't, I like, she got him on the leash. That man can't go on no adventures or none of that, cause she scared. She gonna lose, um, she scared that he might get hurt, injured, or dead, and she said she can't take another loss, so she's scared for him. Marlena, stop. Cut it out. Let that man go look for his family. You know who your family is. You know who your relatives is. Why can't you let this man go do this mission to try to find his family? I'm pretty sure John can take care of himself. I'm pretty sure he know how to defend himself if Kush comes to serve. Marlena, why are you giving this man a hard time about these guys because he want to go look for his family? I understand, and I'm going to give it to you, Marlena. I understand that you hurt and that you lost your, that you lost will, so I'm going to give you a little pass today on that one, that you lost your grandson will, so I'm going to give you a little pass, but let that man go ahead and find his family, hell, that man want to find out who, who he is, who his relatives is, who his pap is, let that man go do that, Marlena, and you be there like the supporting, the supporting wife you've been these last couple of years. Be there by that man's side. Yes, you mad and yes, you pissy at him at the moment, but your ass don't get over it anyways. God, look how easy it was. One day you done fell back in love with him all over again that he met you going on this goddamn mission to find out who he is and now your ass all pissy again. So, Marlena, cut this shit out. He gonna be back in no time. Y'all gonna start, y'all gonna finish off where y'all left that up, and everything gonna be good. So, Marlena, why you throwing your little fit and your little rage right now? Calm the hell down somewhere, because everything gonna be all right. Then we get back to crazy Ben ass again, and Ben thinking and wondering, wait, I did miss a scene today. Somehow... Ben was calling looking for Abigail. I don't know if this how that scene went, but I missed the scene today being being messy today. I missed the damn scene. But I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all anyway what I saw and what I ended up catching anyways, but I kinda missed part of but I caught it anyway. So we get the um Ben and somehow he called around looking for Abigail like she a lost puppy as you per usual for him. Calling around looking for his sad lost puppy Abigail. So he ended up calling the hospital. And with Chad being awake and all what's going on, and I guess people making enough noise for him to hear, and he asked what's going on. And they and he ended up telling him Chad the Mary is on um, whoa. And so Ben freaks the fuck out. You should have seen how big his ass got after that shit when that woman told him that. So then we get to the part where Ben, I think this is the part where he was thinking about the murder, was getting scared. I think that's it. I'm not for sure, but I'm going to say it anyway. Right? The, yeah, Ben was happen to have his, psych his psychosis again, his crazy ass dreams of his killers, his diary in his little head of his killers, uh, his victims. So he started thinking about everybody, Serena, Paige, Will, and how they struggled, and he starts to have a little guilt. I call that little guilt bullshit, because you didn't kill three fucking people. Now you feel sorry after the third victim, bitch, you should have felt sorry after the first one. But for you, you going to feel bad after the third one. Ben, ain't nobody looking for no, Ben, you ain't getting no sense from y'all to nobody. Not now, damn soul for to feel sorry for your ass because you sit up there having dreams and nightmares about your victims. 
Boy, sit your ass down the way. It ain't nobody fit to feel sorry for you. Sorry, not gonna happen. Not today. It's not not me. I tried to defend your ass, but I see I was the damn fool for defending you. So I'm done defending you. Defending you. So if you want to continue on doing this little killing spree, abusing Abigail, whatever the fuck you want to do, you go right on here, Uncle Beans. I'm checking out. So we get little scenes with Aiden, and Aiden either drunk or ain't sleeping, or thinking about killing Hope or not killing Hope or whatever the fuck he plans on doing. Ain't no telling which one he may or may not do. He might end up trying to kill her, and then Bo might come and beat the brakes off of him. But either way, he's up there knocked out on the goddamn desk. Oh, I think he's still drunk. I think it's still the same day with them. I don't know. I can't keep up with that shit. All the way you know it's just one day or the next day with them. At least you see them with different clothes on. Or you see them with the same clothes on in, in, in two whole days. But I think he's still hung over from the, from the, um, from the bachelorette party. That, that little shit-ass bachelorette party they threw him or whatever. So I think he's still hung over there. And he's he thinking about whole killing her. Basically, I don't think he's strong enough to do that killing. Basically, even if he's trying, I can until you both gonna end up coming, busting in the house, catch him, catch him in the, at the trying to kill Hope, and you know both gonna, both gonna end up killing his ass. That's what I think gonna end up happening. I don't even think he's strong enough to try to even begin to try to kill Hope. So, we get back the Abigail and she go home to her woman be the being and she's like and he's like where are you where have you been oh I got your messages I didn't get them till I, I had get them till I started heading home yeah sure Abigail you didn't get those messages till you started getting home mm-hmm yeah sure Jane we believe you Abigail uh maybe Ben believe you but I don't fucking believe you but she go home and they start to talk, and then she hugs him. So apparently, he she forgives him for 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 for, for pulling her like he did that that yesterday. So apparently, he forgives her all of a sudden. And then they goes in. He's like, "Where you been? Oh, I was at the hospital." At the hospital doing what at this hour? Oh, I was going to get some papers for work. Ben said, at this hour, yeah, I went and got those papers. Ben said, where the fuck are they? Oh, I left them in the car. I didn't have time, so I left them in the car. And then Ben said, there you go again, obsessing over Chad again. So they get into it about Chad again. And I think Abigail brought up Ben Chad. No, Ben brought up Chad. And then they get into about the chat thing and why they move, why they didn't move, why they didn't move to the moon all the way to the northeast. Then they start to go in about that. And Ben better say, you uh, uh, you is obsessed with being a chat. You could not leave being a long chat alone long enough for us to work out. So they get in their little argument or whatnot have you. They didn't say they are means and are means and hallelujahs and thank you Jesus. Ben storms out like a little bitch because I guess he didn't want to grab Abigail again and Abigail like she scanned somebody ground her like a little like a little lion. A, a, not a little lion, yeah, a little tiger like she gonna scare somebody got she ground. And y'all already know the episode ended. With Chad screaming, this is a mistake, this is a mistake, this is a mistake. Because I guess now they're going to book him into their system. Their bootleg Salem PD system now. But yeah, that's about all I got for y'all today. Like this video, share this video, comment on Let me know what you think. Or did I miss anything else good? Let me know what you think. Follow me on Twitter. Say one and dress. Follow me on Instagram, Andre Epps. And I'll see you later. Bye.